It's been five weeks of competition and two weeks of open entry before that, and who knows how long everyone's been practicing even before open entry started. This is the final episode, and this is when we announce the 2016 season two winner of String League. This is the Crossman, and for this, the final competition of String League season two, I've been given the opportunity to join the judging panel. For this week, the contestants were given complete free reign to string whatever they like. Although it sounds simple, this is certainly one of the most difficult weeks of the competition. For this challenge, I'm going back to exactly what I said at the beginning of the competition. Our stringers need to think outside the box and be creative, whilst at the same time concentrate on technical excellence and functionality. Each contestant strung a fantastic pocket, and this is my top five. In fifth place this week is Jack Stringing. I really like his custom braided synthetic leathers and his shooter. However, the O-channel was a little uneven and his twists were a little too tight, so they began to coil. With five fantastic entries this week, I'm having to look for little things to tell them apart. Overall, a really nice pocket. In fourth place, we have Lacrosse Works. He created a classic look with modern techniques. My favorite being his center fitter tie off and Matt Simpson sidewall. Loose box knots though are difficult to perfect without bagging out and I feel the depth may increase a little too much with use. Great concept, clean and tidy. In third place this week we have McLack strings. This week he's back on form incorporating a range of difficult techniques into one pocket. From a hand firm box ladder to heat outers. I would have liked to see him move away from a snatch and grunt though, which has been his comfort zone for quite some time. Overall, a great way for him to end the competition. So this brings us to my top two. Both of these stringers are excellent in their own unique way, but as I can only pick one, in second place is Richie B. This box pocket is sweet. With his ever-developing signature Bennett braid and floating leathers, Richie focused on creating a lightweight, high-performance pocket. I can't wait to see what he innovates in the future. And my number one this week is FL Stringer. George strung an absolutely fantastic pocket. He started off with a perfect O-channel center. He then transitioned that into twisted outers. He then moved to hawk sides and then connected that to a twisted six string. He used box knots to connect it to the sidewall. George also used box knots in the saddle itself. So overall, I'm sure you will agree FL Stringer is my number one because he thought outside the box, he was creative with what he produced, and at the same time, he concentrated on the technicality of the pocket and its functionality. For me, Lacrosse Man in Manchester, England, congratulations to all of the stringers in this season's competition. We've seen some amazing pockets, innovation, and skill over the past weeks, and I hope it's inspired you to go string a stick. The pockets are done, the votes are tallied. This is the season two champion. Congratulations to all of our contestants and especially our String League champion. I want to thank STX and let everyone know that all the contestants get to keep their five heads as well as receive the grand prize package of mesh and your pocket design from this competition in particular will be hosted on stylandstrings.com. Keep stringing, keep making yourself better, and keep spreading the art. And next year, you guys could be the String League champion. <laughs>